Yes, people, welcome to the Blunt Pundit, where I speak my mind and you can see us. How is every single person doing out there? I hope you are all good. It is it's another wonderful Wednesday evening, and I'm just going to bring to you the news that just came out a few minutes ago. Daniel Ek had an interview with CNBC where he said he has secured the funds to buy Arsenal Football Club. This is my reaction for that, and I'm just going to give you every single word that he said during that interview and my thoughts about it so in that interview he was asked the question how much do you want arsenal and can you get it and he simply said well you know i've been an arsenal fan since i was eight arsenal is my team i love the history i love the players and of course i love the fans so as i look at that i just see a tremendous opportunity to set a real ambition for the club to bring it back to its glory i want to establish trust with fans i want to engage with fans again so to answer your question i'm very serious I've secured the funds for it and I want to bring what I think is very compelling offers to the owners. I hope they hear me out. Just my thoughts on what he just said. Listen, this guy here seems really, really serious about um, getting Arsenal. For him to say he secured the fund, that is really telling. That sounds very serious and that sounds like someone that has an intent and really, really knows what he wants. And he's been saying so much about how passionate he is as an Arsenal fan. Obviously, he said it in, in his words here that I want to establish trust with fans and I want to engage with fans again. Listen, at the end of the day, we've seen situations where people say all sorts of things to be able to get in the good books of people. And when they get into that position, they do not deliver. But listen, I'm not going to start with on that note of negativity or any of that sort i'm just saying it as it is because we've seen situations like that in the past where people say things and they don't do it it's just like politicians they promise and fail however for this guy he seems to be as pained as many of the fans and from the way he's sounding i think it is an opportunity for him to be able to get us back into winning ways but let's not forget the chronicles came out yesterday um especially in the meeting where josh Krenke had um, um, with the internal staff of Arsenal saying they are definitely, definitely not selling. And I said yesterday, I don't know if Josh Kroenke is serious about it or it is just a tactic to be able to keep the price value of Arsenal high. Because let's be honest, when um, an owner of an item comes on and says it is for sale, it might be devalued a little bit and they might just say, listen, we're not selling and that way it really makes it a very precious item that people really want to seek after. We don't know why Josh Kroenke is really serious about the fact that they're not going to sell or it is just a tactics to keep the value of Arsenal Football Club up. But what this guy is saying is, in his words, I have secured the funds for Arsenal. That is what he's saying. I have secured the... the, the, the Excuse me, I have secured the funds for it and I want to bring what I think is very compelling offer to the owners. I hope they hear me out. And then the interviewer went on to ask another question. He said, the Kronikers don't seem to be interested in selling though. You can't do anything to pressure them into, into that despite what the fan base say. And they've made it very clear they are not selling. Exactly what I just said. And then he responded by saying, yeah, but you know as I have, as I started out saying, I've been a fan for 30 years of this club. And I certainly didn't expect this would happen overnight. I'm prepared that this could be a long journey. All I can do um, is prepare what I think is a very thoughtful offer and bring it to them and hope they hear me out. So listen, this guy apparently is not naive to the fact that these guys are not going to be willing to sell. They're probably going to be looking for a very enticing offer and offer that they cannot but just consider. And I think maybe that's what this guy um, is planning. He didn't really say anything about um, joining forces with the legends that you can see on the screen. He didn't say anything about that. But we've been hearing rumors that he's going to be doing it in conjunction with this football. We didn't hear that in that interview. All he said is that he has secured the funds and he's going to give them a compelling offer that they cannot refuse. Every Arsenal fan is going to be excited at the opportunity of getting this guy to own the club because, because he seems very genuine. He seems like he really wants the best for the club. And he's sounding like a fan here. You know, but then again, there was a little bit of diplomacy in the next response I'm going to read out. And this is the next last question that they asked him. They said, what do you make of the Kronike's ownership? It seems like this is just an asset to them. Doesn't that gall you? Doesn't that make you feel angry? And apparently you would expect maybe, as most fans have been saying... They want Krennic out. They were very brutal with him in the with Josh Krennic, especially in the interview with the fans. But 
here is this guy's response. He says, I just focus on the club. I focus on the fans. I focus on trying to bring the club back, back to glory. As you said, I'm first and foremost a fan. That's the most important thing for me. I want the club to do better. That's my primary interest. So, listening to that response, he totally ignored the, the part of the question where they said, it seems as if the Chronic case just see Arsenal as an asset. And doesn't that make you angry? He totally, totally refused to answer that particular question. Maybe this is him just being diplomatic. He doesn't want to go in on the owners. Maybe because of, you know, a gentleman that he is. A gentleman will not just go in on other men, if you see what I mean. And I think he's just being polite. Let's be honest. If he starts raising dust with the chronicles and starts saying, oh, yeah, I want them to, to release the, the club, blah, 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 saying all sort of um, negative things about them, maybe that wouldn't get him anywhere. And you can totally understand that. Listen, I don't blame him. But listen, guys, what are your thoughts on Kronike, what are your thoughts on um, this bid that this guy wants to put in? Do you think he's going to be able to secure it? Well, I hope he'll be able to secure it and I hope he'll be able to get the Kronike out. Listen, boys, it's your boy at the Blumpoint. Lovers, you be lovers, haters, be haters. I'm out of here. Talk to you guys later. Cheers. Bye.